Hello everybody. The theme for today's collective worship is compromise. So let's light the candle together. I light this candle to remind us that God is with us and that Jesus is the light of the world in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now with your, with your family at home, I'm sure there must be times when you don't agree with something, especially with lockdown that we've gone through recently. And if you've got brothers or sisters, then perhaps there are even more times. Now the way to succeed when you don't agree with something at home is a little bit of compromise. And I want you just to think about what compromise might mean. Compromise means not always getting what you want and coming together and thinking about what the other person might want and then it works a lot better. Now today's story is about a family that are not so good at compromise but I think there are some lessons to be learned from their story. The Branch family were always arguing. There was Father Branch who always thought he knew best, Mother Branch who liked to get her own way and Liam and Menely Branch who were forever squabbling. The Branch's house therefore was like a permanent battleground. Even Buster the dog would join in by barking loudly, especially when he couldn't sit on his favourite chair. They would argue about anything and everything. It would start early in the morning when there was a fight about who could get into the bathroom first. It would continue over breakfast about which cereal they should eat. And it would even grow fiercer on the way to school when Liam and Melanie would argue about who would sit in the front seat of the car. Mrs Branch always drove them to school, even though the school was only five minutes walk away. Evenings were awful because the family could never agree about which programme to watch on television. One bank holiday turned into a particularly argumentative day. The Branch family decided to go out for a day out. Of course, no one could agree on where to go. I want to go into town to the shops, said Mrs Branch. It's ages since I've had a good browse around the shops. I hate shopping, said Mr Branch. It's so boring. Why don't we book into a restaurant for a nice family meal? What's the point, moaned Melanie. We can have a meal at home. I want to go to the seaside. It's a nice day and I want to go to the seaside. I hate the seaside, said Liam immediately. Too much sand everywhere. And I want to go to see the new Star Wars film at the cinema. All my friends have seen it already. It's not fair. Buster the dog barked constantly. They were still arguing on the way to the car. Nothing had been decided. They were going to carry on their arguments in the car. As they reached the front gate, they met their next door neighbours, Mr and Mrs Davies, and their two children. Gemma and Callum went to the same school as Liam and Menley, but they were not particularly friends. Liam and Menley argued too much. Good morning to you, said Mr Davies, cheerfully. Are you off for the day out? Yes, we're going shopping, replied Mrs Branch with a feeble attempt at a smile. My wife means we're going for a nice meal, corrected Mr Branch, giving his wife a scowl. I'm going to see the new Star Wars film, snapped Liam, who knew that Callum had already seen it. And I'm going to the seaside, said Menley haughtily. Then they can drop off there all I care. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs Davies as the two children giggled with amusement. You do sound as if you're in for a happy bank holiday. Anyway, what are you doing, asked Mr Branch. He wasn't really interested. He just pretended to be polite. We're off to a new shopping complex by the seaside, replied Mr Davies, clicking the remote control to the car. We're going to spend an hour or so around the shops, take in a film at the new cinema and then go for a walk along the beach. We'll be ready for something to eat by then, so hopefully we'll stop at our favourite restaurant on the way home. He looked at his wife and winked. We know how to compromise, you see. Have a nice day. And the Davies family piled into the car with happy smiles on their faces. Compromise, repeated Mr Branch, as he watched the car pull away. That sounds a good idea. Why don't we compromise? That way everyone gets to do what they want. Yes, agreed Mrs Branch thoughtfully. I'm very good at compromising. It's all right with me, said Callum, nodding his head up and down. Me too, said Menely. I'd like to compromise. Can we go to the seaside first? I don't think so, said Mum, looking worried. I think we should visit the shops first. That's not fair, yelled Callum. I want to go to the cinema. 
No, 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 said Dad. Let's go for a nice meal. We can talk about it. Oh, Dad, moaned the children. Buster the dog just barked continuously. I'm sure the Banks family will learn to compromise soon because when everybody compromises, it just makes the day far more pleasant. And I'm sure you'll find that you need to compromise when you're at home sometimes, at school. Our countries need to compromise as well. Everything runs a lot more smoothly with a little bit of compromise and listening to each other and sharing out what everybody wants to do and everyone getting their own point across. So we'll finish today with a prayer. So you may want to bow your heads, you may want to close your eyes, but if we could have a quiet time together. Dear God, help us to accept that we cannot always get our own way. We have to learn to compromise. May we never do or say anything that would hurt our family or friends. Help us to respect the views and opinions of other people, especially those who are older and wiser and closer. Amen. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, St Paul's, and the rest of your week. And when the weekend comes, I hope the sun continues to shine and have a lovely time. Bye-bye.